At Lucentel, we've done significant research into the European glass fiber market. Today I'll share with you how we characterize this market as well as some of the dynamics at work and where we see opportunities. This thought leadership video is based on Lucentel's market research report on the European glass fiber market. We've done considerable secondary research and conducted primary interviews with players throughout the value chain to develop our insights. Before I share some of our analysis, let me briefly introduce myself as well as Lucentel. My name is Brandon Fitzgerald, I'm a director at Lucentel. I've worked with over 100 companies in the areas of growth strategy and mergers and acquisitions. Lucentel is a management consulting and market research firm headquartered in Dallas, Texas. We have over 1,000 clients worldwide, and we offer services in the areas of market entry strategy, opportunity screening, due diligence, value chain analysis, and M&A. Now, let me share some of our perspective on the opportunities in play in the European glass fiber market. To summarize, we see the opportunity as being interesting. For example, the market opportunity is projected to reach a value of roughly $2 billion by 2025. This represents a compound annual growth rate of around 2.5%. Glass fiber opportunities in Europe have evolved through a number of stages, from e-glass opportunities to the current S3 HDI glass fiber used in the market today. Currently, transportation is the largest end-use industry, whereas ECR glass is the largest product type. In terms of the demand across the region, Germany offers the largest demand for glass fiber in the European region. If you look into the value chain, you can see that the ecosystem for this market is composed of a diverse group of companies. Now, let me share some of our perspective on some of the key drivers and emerging trends that we're seeing in this market. Some of the major drivers include increasing demand for lightweight materials and growth of glass composites in different end-use industries. Some of the major challenges include a lack of awareness of composite options. In terms of some of the emerging trends, we see the development of high tensile strength and high modulus glass fiber and penetration of low dielectric glass fiber in printed circuit boards as being significant trends in this market. As you've seen, Lucentel has examined different drivers, challenges, and trends throughout the value chain. In order to compete more effectively, our analysis indicates that companies could invest in capability for developing high tensile strength e-glass fiber. These insights are based on Lucentel's market research report on the European glass fiber market. This report is designed to help you identify opportunities across different application segments and regions for your company. At Lucentel, we have an extensive toolkit to address strategic questions such as, what kind of game changer actions exist in the market? Or is a more incremental approach to growth better? Or, where should I focus limited sales and marketing resources based on a voice of customer analysis? To learn the answers to these and other questions about the European glass fiber market, please contact Lucentel. Thank you very much for listening to our video today. 